Hi guys, so today I'm going to launch another set of reviews for Diamond Press. So thank you much, so much Diamond Press for sending these items for my review, what you're going to see here in the video. Uh, some of the items I already had, but uh, most of them are going to be for um, the craft day that begins May 5th. And I know some of you guys have already been picking things up um, with different ways, with coupons, with just, you know, it's already there, so might as well go ahead and grab it. Um, I know they don't do... Anything with the shipping, um, HSN as a company, so I, I hear from you guys about that, but I appreciate that, you know, you still watch and um, basically get what speaks to you, right? So <laughs> I know it does dampen a little bit of what you were, were planning on picking up. But, um, so I'm going to show you some of the sets. So today it's already, I just got this package and again, it's going to be on May 5th, so I think I'm going to have to review a couple of items together at a time, which is actually kind of nice because today what I'm going to do is probably put a card together with one of the items that I was really looking forward to that um, they launched on a HSN site I think last week sometime because I already heard a lot of you guys uh, picked it up already so that's really great it's the background dies um, let me grab these things here the uh, four pack of background dies and then I recently reviewed the large monogram or die sets with the alphabet um, which is also made basically for the new marquee because they are larger these guys are big so that's gonna be fun so I'm gonna review that and I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw in um, the Happy Day kit, which was on, uh, HSN site. I just don't think they, they, uh, did a demo of it. So I'm going to use that too. And I also want to use the Sentiment dies, uh, this one, the Sentiments die kit. So I'll have the links for everything. We're going to put this all together. I'm just going to grab some papers and then I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, Diamond Press was really sweet to, uh, offer to do giveaways again on these, uh, reviews so keep an eye out for that um in this one i am planning to do a giveaway of two sets of the uh, background dies so that information will be at the end of the video um again it's always you know just be a subscriber to my channel say enter me say whatever you like but for to be considered uh for the giveaway enter me it is not international at this time um one entry per person and go ahead and like the video and just follow the rules at the end of the uh, video because the uh, end date and all that will be there, but I'll talk about it again in just a minute. Okay, so I started cutting down some papers, but um, I think I need to see kind of what's going on and then we'll go from there. So let me open this up because I have no idea what size these things are. Oh, on the large alpha blocks, even though it's something I picked up and I made a review on it, um, one thing I did not measure was the size of the letters because I figured it was in the description of the item, but they're about two and a half inches tall. Okay, so if you guys recall the alpha block that I reviewed not too long ago. Okay, so we have our sentiments die kit here. So really nice. Um, the kits always come with another cutting folder and things like that. And now they do have some uh, really nice information. Now this is really cool. So this one comes with an extra large, the an extra large fold, not extra large, but uh, the longer folder that they normally did with the smaller diamond press. Um, and then we have our large one. So new cutting folders there. Um, so again, that thin one can go like with this one has thinking of you. You don't have to run it through the whole larger guy. You can just use the small one. We have thank you. We have hello. Uh, sending lots of love. This one's really nice here. There's sending you prayers. And it has like a little heart with the you. Um, happy birthday. That's really cute and festive. And welcome little one. So hopefully you can see with the size of my hand that they're a good size. And then the um, idea sheet here kind of shows you how you would layer those up but these are pretty um straightforward since it's the two layers so we have that there and i'll pick one of those sentiments to cut in just a minute and the background dies this is the one i was curious to see how big these are um i'm assuming it's for a standard a2 size card And then I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. So I was in my mind just gonna do the die cutting and that would just make a nice quick card. So I thought, well, you know what? We can do a little stamping too. So we'll do that. And these are also great to cut and just use them as a stencil and kind of stencil over them. Just got to deal with the large um, flower border dies. If you guys remember that video. I'm trying to see where we open this. Here we go. A lot of weight on these dies. I can feel they're nice and heavy here. So really pretty look at this border one so pretty with the little flowers we have this little intricate kind of daisy looking one here two cutting folders which is great um this one has kind of like a not a floral design but just more more decorative design as you can see and it's going to cut very thin almost lacy looking if you look on hsn you'll see the example of that and then this guy and i think this is the one i'm going to use today because um 
I was just eyeing that one, so I think that's what I'll use. And I will go ahead and measure this one for you. Since I was remiss in measuring that last time around, uh, these are uh, about four inches. So yeah, I think it's gonna mat on a standard H2 size card real nice and five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter, so you can mat it over your standard H2 size card, which I actually have a piece cut here. This is what it would be. This is cut already four and a quarter to five and, by five and a half. So this guy would just kind of layer over it in there. Okay. So I do have this yellow piece that I'm going to cut into. And then we'll do our stamping things. I'm just trying to get the layers going. And I'll bring over my marquee. And the same cutting folder I've been using. <laughs> so super well loved. And we'll put our paper, and it doesn't really matter if my paper goes crooked because it's, um, or my dye, it's just yellow paper on both sides. So I'm not looking to keep it straight. But if you have like a print, you definitely want to keep your die straight there. And here I go. Somebody had asked me, oh, there's suction there. If uh, the machine is quiet, I mean, I just ran it through, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> um, I don't know how to answer that question because it's what you heard, which was nothing. So I guess, yes, it's pretty quiet. Um, and pretty much everything just popped out. I do have some little squares here I need to mess with, but there it is. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to do is clean up these little pieces and um, we will cut um, a sentiment and then we'll do some of the layering with the stamping. Okay, and so I have my sentiment here. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to use thank you because I want to use the happy day and I want to use the little bike there. And I'm like, well, for a baby car, the bike might be kind of, I don't know. So I'm going to use thank you and hopefully that works out. So what I'm going to do is take this guy and I still have a piece of that same kind of uh, paper. This is a Sizzix pack of paper I recently used. Actually, I used it this morning. If you guys watched the video on, um, on uh, the Kiwi Lane templates. So I'm going to use that to cut out... Sorry, the background. I was like, that doesn't seem right. So I'm gonna cut out this background with that. And then the extra yellow piece of paper that I have left over, I'll cut out the thank you. Let me see which, does it fit here? Oh my gosh, it even fits here on that extra little piece. I was gonna get another piece that I cut off earlier. So that works out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop out my thank you. And this time I will tape it because the paper is so small. It just sticks right around there. And yes, I dropped something else. <laughs> I'm always continually dropping things. Okay, there it goes. So I'm gonna pop this guy out and then I will crank out the background. So those are kind of just layering on top of each other. It's the same colors again and again, right? So I'm doing the same yellow with the same kind of like geometric background. So hopefully that works out. And where's my word? It's in here. Let me see if I can pop it out without, there we go. Look at that gorgeous and delicate and so pretty and just worked amazing all right and hmm I kind of like having more of that little red in there but it kind of has to be yeah like this piece right here so I'm gonna cut away what I don't need and where's that little piece of tape I just had? So I like that blue in the background and then I'll probably highlight that a little bit when I do the, um, the stamping, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. So we have that right there. And we have our card base here. And we're gonna layer that up. And let me grab the items that I wanted to stamp here from our Happy Day kit. Super cute. This has the cutest things in it. But what I'm gonna use is very similar to something that was in the original um, Celebrations kit. Let me show you that real quick. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. It's <laughs> like the one that came with the um, marquee bundle. Sorry. So let me show you. I'm going to use like one of these little floral spray type things. And in your marquee bundle, which is these items here, it came with 
this little flower spray, which would work. So if you have the marquee bundle or this one here in the back, so there's two um, sticker, um, not sticker, um, stamp sheets. Both of those would work uh, in the same fashion. So if you have those, you can use those or any other design you like. What I'm gonna grab from the celebrations kit that I believe is still available on each cent is some markers. And so um, I like these colors. I'm gonna grab all these. I'm gonna grab some green for the leaves. And I think I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm pretty much need all these. <laughs> so uh, let's do that and maybe even some brown. So recently when I did the Local King uh, rubber stamp uh, video, it kind of gave me, I, I've done this before, actually in the celebrations kit, I showed you how you can use your markers to um, color your stamps. So I'm gonna do something similar to that. I'm not gonna stamp it twice, even though that would probably give me a better impression um, as far as the color being laid down. But what I'm gonna do is, oh, well, let me show you this really quick, quickly before I just move on. This kit, oh my gosh, look at these stamps. Oh, sorry guys super adorable and that's a good size i thought these were gonna be like mini <laughs> to be honest i don't know if a bike's gonna i think the bike will work uh, for my card it should be okay but look at the little bike with the little flowers super cute so i was gonna use that and possibly like one of these i don't know if it's gonna work out I, i'll i'll do both anyway i'll stamp them and i'll cut them out and if it works great if it doesn't work out you know maybe i need to use this little guy i'll use that one um it comes with two embossing folders, the thinner ones, like the smaller ones with the butterflies and then this cute, really nice size background. Um, flowers, I don't know if you call them background, I don't know why I said that, but like, <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, and then the dies that coordinate with most of the things. So you have your little swirl, you have your little um, banner, which is adorable. The banner has all these little letters. Um, so you can do things like smile, like happy, hello, Silly, I don't know if you want to do that. Um, anything that has these letters or any other letters you have. If you have any little um, stamps, which we all do, you can uh, do your uh, little banner that way. It also comes with the word, um, let's look on our sheet here. Amour or amour. Amour, it's the French way of doing that. And bonjour. So super cute. Bonjour. Right there. Oh, there you go. So. There's that, and then again, your idea sheet gives you all the different ways that you can do these things or layer them up. So, let me put these to the side. I'm trying to keep an eye on what colors I have. How big are these things? I'll use this stamp set. Or stamp set. What am I talking about? I need this stamp set, but I need this uh, block, acrylic block here. You know, I'm saying all these extra words that make no sense and then correct myself because it's hot it's hot i start getting a little a little wonky here all right so when i look at this in my mind you know we have the little flowers the basket is not colored in so we are going to use black you know like for the wheels i want to make the bike if i can like a blue color um try to you know paint the seat brown like i'm going to try to do what i can doesn't mean it's going to work out but we'll see <laughs> uh, so we have brown there black on our little tires you can kind of see what you're doing so that's always good i do try to start with the lighter color first but i did not do that in this situation here we have the gears and you know maybe the little basket can be brown down here i want the bike like a blue color so i'm trying to work kind of quickly to get this down and as much as i can i'll probably come in with a black again because i just took some of that off <laughs> And then the flowers can have some, you know, some little blue, some little green, some little red flowers. And let me do the seat again, because that's one of the first things I did. And the black again. And we're going to give it a little huff and go from there. So I'm going to just blow on it a little bit. And you can see from the other side if you missed an area. See, I don't know if you can see the color. But you can kind of tell, and I've been learning from like Lavinia stamps to just kind of give it some time. You don't have to just stamp and bah, be done with it, right? She's just kind of holds it and really lets it soak in. Look how cute, you guys. What is up with my lighting? You know why? It's because it's so blazing hot. I have my windows all closed up and they're going to be like that for the rest of the summer. <laughs> but look how pretty. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with... And you can do this with any water-based marker. 
Um, I have these guys, so I'm going to use these. But if you have other water-based markers, you can definitely do that. And we'll use this guy. And this one, it's kind of big, um, like the, the perspective. So I'm trying to think if how I'm going to use this. Well, like I said, we'll color it in if I use it great. If I don't, you know, I don't. So I'm going to start with the lighter green. I'm just going to hit the leaves wherever I see leaves here. Just color it over those. Take that teal color, just kind of whoot, add some here and there. Take this yellow color, add a little bit of this orange or peachy color to it. Maybe do some of these little guys in that same peachy tone. Get some of this red and add it in the middle and add some here and there. And again, give it a little huff. And you can see again on the back side what you're doing. And I'm just gonna let that melt into my paper. So I work kind of fast because these are uh, stamps that would want to repel this after a minute. So I'm doing it kind of quickly. I missed that very top, but guess what? I'm just going to draw it in. <laughs> there. And no one will ever know. Cute. Again, if you want to do it again, use a stamp positioner and then um, ink up again real quick and then stamp it again. So it stamps right over the same area and um, that way you'll be guaranteed to stamp it again and have a really successful stamping that way. But this is really pre pretty. I like the way it came out. All right, so let me pull that away. I was using stamping paper to stamp on. Just some nice heavyweight paper. And I need my dies. Hopefully I didn't cut too close to the uh, bike. To down here, you know, where it needs to be. And if you want to cut yourself an aperture so you know that you're cutting exactly where you want it to be, you know, go ahead. I'm going to eyeball this. I can kind of tell by the rims here, by the seat where that's at and all that kind of stuff. But I think that's pretty good. And then our little flower spray, which I believe this one is this one. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. So these are going to leave a little ridge, obviously, around your image. And just again, run these through. Oh, did I make them too far apart? I was trying to see if they both fit. They both fit. Okay. So we would have had a nice basic quick card with just the background and then the sentiment. And then I just decided to add a little something more. Sorry, I was so close. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty good. Pretty good. I could have done it a little bit lower. Hopefully this guy. This is right on. Check that out. So cute. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive on the back of these pieces. Before I continue, <laughs> I did bring in my... Um, Xyron sticker maker, so I'll probably try to run one through and see what happens. If it messes it up, I'll have to cut out another thank you. But I will be okay, right back. So far I have success. Check that out. So this is the five inch creative station that I purchased and pretty much never use. And then this guy is a two and a half inch create a sticker. And we will see if they have not dried out. So I had that little X one that dried out completely on me and people are like, well, that's weird because that doesn't normally happen. So this one, it takes the top off. So it's kind of a bummer because I like to really give it a rub and make sure this stuff stays down, but that's okay. All right, so let me take this off. <laughs> no wonder people like to use these. I mean, that's pretty cool, but you know, I don't know. I just, I'm just stick with glue and a, a like precision thing or maybe a spray. So this is the part that's, this is why I rather just use a glue. <laughs> but I'm gonna stick down every little piece as I go. So I can see the T and the H should be there. And coming down in here, and the Y. Let's settle down. <laughs> Let's get that settled in there. And I'm going to move my hand so I can kind of work with the U part. It kind of goes up this way, and I feel like this is, yeah, I think I need to stick with a wet glue. <laughs> All right. Eh, 
yeah, something like that. All right, I'll have to stick with my wet glue next time because not bad. That took a little bit longer than I would like to try to do with <laughs> the, uh, just the adhesive. Okay, I'm gonna take this back off of this thing. I'm gonna smooth it out just to make sure all that little stickiness stays on that carrier. Actually, this one would be on the plastic top, not the carrier. All right, and then we have to be real good, right? We have to be like amazing at this <laughs> to stick this down. I'm kind of thinking I'd rather, again, use my glues. Ooh, all right. And this is gonna be about here. All right, I'm gonna smooth that down. What I'm gonna do is go back over with something that's, uh, no, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna push that down. I want to get that extra adhesive off, so I'm going to come in with one of those little rubber eraser things and take off the extra adhesive, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 3D glue gel, and uh, people ask about this all the time. It's 3D glue gel, Call All is a the brand there, and you can source it in a few different places. I usually get mine off of Crafter, Crafter's Companion's website. And this one's pretty much on its last leg, so <laughs> I have to... Get my bodybuilding muscles out to get this going, okay. And so my idea was just to put this here. You can orient it the other way too. I kind of just wanted it oriented uh, horizontally here. Sorry, I had to pause because I heard my phone going off and it went off again and it went off again. So with three calls, I'm like, oh, maybe it's my husband. You know, I better go check. And it was a spam call from the same <laughs> company three times. Yay. All right, um, I think I want to tuck this back in here. And then this little guy, I want him kind of in the front. You know I'm going to have to redo this. Well, no. Hmm, I guess I'm going to have to switch it up. That's what I'll have to do. This here and this here. There we go. So I'm going to keep this one kind of flat. And actually we can kind of just mess with this a little bit. And then I'm going to put my bike even higher than my sentiment. So there's going to be a few different levels there. If you're using dimensional adhesives, use your dimensional adhesives. That's fine, too. So it makes for a nice, quick card. Even that stamping, I mean, was all of two seconds. Oh, there's an extra little piece here that I need to get rid of. So thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending this for my review, you guys. Um, super cute stuff. Again, this uh, set is available there on HSN. I'm going to have to double this up, right? That's why I said it needs to be even taller. <laughs> so cute. It's going to write right off the card there. So thanks for watching, guys. And of course, I would mount this onto um, a, a larger card, your standard A2 size card. Just put this right on top of there. And, and to enter the giveaway, go ahead and follow the entry rules that are coming up next. So thank you so much, uh, Diamond Press, for sending these items from my review for the giveaway. Um, again, it'll be two of the larger um, background dies uh, to be given away to two people. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.